So now we have uh, uh, two more configurations uh, left for us before performing final, I mean, uh, testing all the complex inbound process. First, we need to dis, uh, discuss about door determination group. As per the, our warehouse, as per our warehouse, what we discussed as a business process, our, um, our, our, our business users, you know, our client suggested like, no matter it is for me, whatever product, okay, no matter it is for me, any door, okay, if I receive one product or two products, any product will be allowed any door. That is our business requirement. Any product will be, any product means in always, right? You receive the HU one. Uh, HU means is a combination of product with the package. So you receive as always HU one. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. In the inside of HU, whatever product is there, whichever product you come, so all the products should should undergo should allow any door. If I receive ten products, should allow door one. Even other ten products should allow door three as well. So I'm as per the business requirement, there is no restriction for any product you receive it. All the doors are, I mean, it's allowed. All the products are allowed through any door. So that is our business requirement. Okay. Um, so how we can how we can uh, set up such a configuration so that no matter any product will come. So system proposes the empty bin, that empty bin allows any product. Hope you are clear now, okay? I'm repeating the term, okay? I'm, 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 I'm making such a configuration. If I receive, if system proposes any door for me, so that door should allow any products for me, okay? That is what I want to do that. Okay. First, we will go door automatic, uh, automatic door determination and all the configuration we do. Uh, then we will come back other, other configuration. Maybe, um, I think activity area concepts, okay? I'm going back to SAP. <clears throat> and as usual, you go to SPRO at the SCM extended warehouse management. These are all the master data for this one. So under the master data, we have a staging areas. First, we need to define uh, various doors, okay? How many doors we need? We know that four doors, but we need to create a doors, physical doors, okay? You define storage type and you define bins. Each door has a bin. That's what we have done last time. As the role is I, that's what we have done it, okay? So now we need to define as a doors. First, we define a door, but before creating a doors, see, if I want to create a door, what are the information is required for us? Okay, see so it's asking the doors for us now and what direction it is, whether inbound or outbound. So if it's inbound, certainly we do inbound. And also is asking what is the uh, number range for us? And what is the default staging area group? And the default staging area, okay? Is it whether default area you wanted to maintain is up to you or a group you don't need is a group is important for us. Staging group itself is called storage type. Okay. What is our default um, uh, staging area group? Here is uh, our exciting is a staging area. Okay. That staging area, uh, staging st storage type, we call as this staging area group. Okay. So we need a four doors now because we don't want to do first, we create a four doors for that. Okay. And before this one, as I said, I'm a staging areas we re require. So first I will go and create a staging areas. Okay. First I will bring my 8001 and, okay. See, anything is fine, you know, because this is what I created. Even I, I go for new entries, okay. See, our eight, our um, 5710, our warehouse and the staging area, okay. Can always select, I just said, I'm right. Staging area group also called as a staging a storage type as a XI10, our, our inbound staging area. Okay. If you want to create even area also XI10, uh, you can always put your own name, you know, is a no matter it is. I can use the same name as a grouping. But if I create, because this itself is a defined staging area, even if I put this one, don't worry, means nothing going to happen for us. 
okay this is important so whatever you define your storage type same as a staging area group just i'm trying to put same name this point and you tell me whether is, is this a inbound one definitely we need to flag for goods receipt that's one if it's a gi certainly we we will go for a goods issue okay this is the goods receipt one so the activity is goods receipt that's what i flagged it the loading rule okay all are see the loading loading can start when first hu has arrived loading cannot start until staging has completed loading cannot so these these are all loading rules are majority for the outbound so for for us we don't need for loading don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos rule, honestly okay even if specify second one also sometime you know system understand loading or unloading same only only thing is if is inbound that is unloading is outbound that is a loading that's only we'll understand but even if you don't rule is all fine but okay just assume that this is unloading cannot start what we are trying to say unloading cannot start until staging has been completed this is for outbound side as i said am right once you you have every products every hus and the staging then only loading should start that's what these are is a moral it belongs to the loading role belongs to the for outbound so we don't need honestly that's what i said you don't need you can leave it this one that this is don't need okay staging here bin capacity all these things we don't need okay only so you need to define def, defining staging area okay just save it as a gr area a good receipt see this does not there that's what is saying okay just you save it as this one that's what i said don't need that okay. so you are staging here become excite excite and only now okay staging here that so now define staging area door determination group okay so please note down this is as a single word okay staging area and door determination group as a single word okay so now i'm define i define staging area i'm defining the determination group okay anything you know just you can use whatever you want it so i used as a, a, a staging area door determination so the staging area dd door determination that's what i am using now 5710 our warehouse and put our warehouse also 5710 okay okay 5711 maximum okay see i'm not at all like you know creating store determination group for each door i'm not going to create for each uh, uh, sdt i'm creating one generic uh, um, uh, storage means like staging area door determination group so that system should propose me any empty door for me that door should allow any product okay so i created one uh, door determination group now because i have a staging area i have door determination so i'm going to define warehouse doors so our warehouse we have a four doors am i right so i will create a four doors don't confuse storage type and storage bin as a door okay we have done it that is a master did with now here is a physical doors i mean uh, door door one door two door three okay? that's what we are trying to do now okay how <clears throat> already i set up now so quickly i will so i'm going to create four doors because we have four doors see the important is you need to create four doors and what is the direction as i said inbound direction and uh, number range we use existing one and uh, staging area so okay just i copy this one and one by one i will show you okay 5710 our warehouse as i said this is inbound so inbound and uh, number range you keep whatever this one and uh, this one is our uh, staging area okay see our staging area comes this x i tell only so x i tell just save it and repeat the same thing for 5710 under door to inbound our x i tell and just repeat for other doors as well 5710 inbound direction and our staging area is x i tell okay and the last one 5710 door 4 and our excite and inbound so this it looks like this okay let us do this so 
actually I could have done it creating Vera's door, but we need as a staging area. Right? That's the reason I created staging area. Our staging area itself as a uh, storage uh, staging area, exciting storage type. So now, second step, as we mentioned, am I right? Assign staging area door determination group to door. Okay. This is another single term and a door. That is another, another step we need to do that. Okay. So, so your doors to, what is my, my warehouse 5710? You know that we have created four doors. We have created one generic uh, staging area determination group. Rather than creating for each door as a separate staging area de de determination group, instead I created one generic one, I assigned for all these doors. Okay. See, four doors, one determination group. Save it. Last step. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay. Next one. So assign staging area to warehouse door. Okay. Last step. If want, I can create a new one so that you know, you know that all. Okay. Five seven one zero. Our warehouse door is D or door one, door one, and the staging area XI, XI ten. When staging area also will come same name only. Okay? Even if you select, it won't come because the, we didn't maintain staging area for this one. Okay, just to repeat uh, uh, other um, other doors. So if I want to copy paste them, right? Control Y, okay? Control Y is a transaction where I can copy the fields, copy and paste into this one, okay? Control Y, Control Y and Control C, okay? Door two, 